Good morning, my dear students. I hope all of you are doing well. Today we will be continuing with my first picture story. Our topic for today is descriptive story writing. That means today I will be teaching you how to write a very simple short story by using our five senses okay it will be descriptive it will be describing things and we will be using our five senses that is you will be writing what to see hear smell taste and feel now we already know that the main character in the story is the little boy so today we will be writing our story from his perspective means we will be writing what he felt what he saw what he heard what he tasted and what he smelled okay so before we begin let me tell you what i'll be doing okay i'll be giving you a picture and you need to look at the picture and imagine what you see okay you will be writing from the boy's perspective okay so you think that you are the boy and you will write what you saw what you heard what you smelled what you tasted and what you felt so let's look at the picture okay this is our our cover picture which is also given in your textbook okay it's a beautiful picture and there are so many things to write about over here so now you need to write what the boy saw okay what he heard what he smelled what he tasted and what he felt okay but remember you are writing it from the boy's perspective so you can start with i okay you can start with i so think about it okay pause the video and think about what you are going to write over here what is the little boy seeing okay you can see so many things over here what did he hear what did he smell what did he taste and what did he feel so let's have a look so once you look at the picture okay you can write i see the beautiful green trees right we can see trees standing by the cool blue water so we can see cool blue water and the tiny birds flying in the great blue sky so we can see some birds also flying okay then here okay what did he hear so you can write i hear the rumble of the train as it goes over the bridge so definitely when the train goes over the bridge the sound is different isn't it and the chirping of the birds when the birds fly we hear the chirping i can also hear the train's whistle as it takes a turn now if you have ever traveled in a train you will know that when a train takes the turn it uh, starts to whistle isn't it you can also say that you can hear the flowing river right you can hear maybe there are some animals even though you cannot see you can write about them you can you can also um write about the wind blowing okay then smell so i can smell the fresh scent of the flowers on the trees okay uh, I, i'm assuming that this is a flowering tree so you can write about that you can also say that you can smell these fresh flowers you can say that you can smell the fresh air now if you are sitting inside the train as the boy is doing i'm sure you will be able to smell so many different things over here i have written that i can smell the delicious aroma of hot coffee and pakoras being sold on the train okay so now if you have ever traveled by train you will know that people come and sell so many things on the train right and the train is a place where you can see and smell so many things even here okay so you can if you do not want to speak about coffee you can say hot tea or you can say you can smell the cold ice cream it's up to you okay now what can you taste i've written that i can taste the sweet ice cream that my mom just bought me so the little boy is on the train and his mom has just bought him an delicious sweet ice cream uh, you can write that i can taste the uh, maybe the hot pakoras or you can write i can taste the spicy chana right so whatever you have tasted on the train you can write about that i feel excited looking out of the train now when we are in the train how do we feel 
some of us may feel scared some of us may feel excited but remember we are writing from the boy's perspective and we know that he was excited because it is what his first train journey so i'm writing i feel excited looking out of the train and consider myself lucky to experience my first train journey okay so this is the way you need to write uh, what you experienced okay using your five senses okay i have this is just an example uh, you can use your own ideas to write this okay you can use your own idea to write this it's uh, really easy just remember to use a lot of adjectives if you can see over here i have used lots of adjectives instead of just see saying i see the trees okay instead of saying i see trees i've written beautiful green trees I can also write tall green trees, right? So the cool blue water, again, I'm describing the water. Instead of just saying I see water, I'm saying cool blue water, okay? Over here also, you can say the great blue sky, right? So try to use adjectives. Try to describe what you saw because remember, when you describe things, the reader can imagine it in their mind. Imagine if this picture was not there for a person reading your description. How would that person feel? Right? So that person, if you have just written, I saw uh, trees, then that person may think that it's just trees. But when you, when you write that I, I see the beautiful green trees, that person will make an image in his mind that the trees need to be beautiful and they need to be green, right? So it is very important that you use adjectives, okay, to describe whatever you saw, you heard, you smelled, you tasted and you felt, okay? So this is all about descriptive writing, okay? Uh, for today, your... The story will come in the later part, okay? Uh, today is just your starting, uh, it's just the starting of writing a story. So I'm just showing you how you can use your five senses, okay? So if you look in S2, you will get a uh, match the description to the picture from the story, my first railway journey, okay? So they have asked you to match it okay many people are on the platform the boy is with his family so which picture is that so you need to count the pictures you need to number okay since the pictures are the picture is given picture two nine and five okay so you need to number the pictures okay you need to start from page 18 page 18 becomes picture one okay where we have the train and then the boy at the railway station becomes uh, picture two. Then on the same page, the conductor checking the tickets, that is picture three and so on. Okay, so remember, picture one is on page 18. Clear? Then in the second question, you have look at the picture and uh, find the details in the five senses chart. So they have given you a beautiful picture over here. And you need to write what you see, what you hear, what you smell, what you taste, and what you feel. Okay. So, for example, C. How I have given here, I, I see the beautiful green trees. In the same way, you can write what you are seeing in the picture, what you can hear in the picture, what you can smell in the picture, what you can taste. Now, uh, you can see some people are eating ice cream. There are some stalls where some people are having some food. So, you can imagine what they are eating and you can write about that. And how, how do you feel? Okay. So, you need to write that. Uh, we will not be doing question number three uh, today. We will do it another day. So you do not need to do question number three, okay? You just need to do question number one and two for today. And we will do question number three in the next class uh, as and when we need to write a story, okay? So that's all for today. In case you have any doubts, uh, feel free to give me a call or to message me. Bye-bye and have a safe day.